cauliflower sabji, we will need cauliflower florets, cumin seeds, grated ginger, grated or pureed tomatoes, turmeric powder, garam masala powder, and salt. Now let's proceed how to make this quick vegetable. In a heavy bottom pan, add about a teaspoon of oil. Once the oil gets heated up, we will add in the cumin seeds and allow it to crackle as it gives a delicious nutty flavor to the vegetable when it gets roasted well. We will now add in the grated ginger and stir it for a few seconds. We will add in the grated or pureed tomatoes. turmeric powder. Now we will stir in the salt. And finally the cauliflower florets. You can make this vegetable dry or a wet gravy. By, um, to make a wet, wettish, more curry-like vegetable, you need to add in a little more water and allow it to simmer until the vegetable is cooked. But here in this recipe, I'm going to make it a little dry. Um, it's going to be soft, but still dry. Once you have added in all the tomatoes, stir in, the, stir in all the ingredients well. We will also add the garam masala at this stage so that it gets well combined into the vegetable. We will add about a quarter cup of water and the garam masala and stir to combine well so that all the ingredients get well coated into the cauliflower. We will now cover the pan and simmer. Turn the heat to low and simmer the vegetable for about 10 to 15 minutes until the cauliflower is cooked and soft. It's been about 15 minutes. You will notice that all the masalas are well combined into the cauliflower. The cauliflower is soft and cooked. During the cooking process, I ensured that there was enough water, just enough to steam the cauliflower and did an occasional stir. Now I'm going to stir in the chopped coriander leaves and a quick cauliflower sabji is ready to be served.